This is my Southland. This is my playground. This is where I've grown up. This is where my parents, my grandparents came from, and now my children are here. It's everything that I could ever want in terms of a lifestyle. I particularly love the history, the culture, the recreation, the energy that, um, that you find in this amazing province of Southland. It's, you can't get better than here. It's perfect. We have now got to the point where we realise that we want to share what we have to the rest of the world, uh, which is Welcome Rock Trails in this case. So, you know, a hiking, mountain biking and accommodation um, venture up in, the, up in the high country of Southland, it's now open for the world to come and enjoy. And we're loving it. People from all different walks of life, ages, abilities, cultures are coming and experiencing our culture. The vision behind Welcome Rock, I guess, you know, ironically, this started probably 30 odd years ago, um, but I didn't know it at the time. Um, I always love spending time over the back of the farm in the high country. The remains of the mud hut, which is a, a, a Chinese um, raceman's gold mining hut. We restored that back in 1990 as part of a um, conservation project. Um, and so I used to go over there as a, as a kid, as a sort of a young teenager, and, and um, it was just a place of, um, it was like a sanctuary really, just a place where you could have time out as a teenager. And um, back then, you know, I'd walk along the water race that these guys had built 120 years ago. And even back then I thought to myself, look, you know, I like this. I wonder if anyone else would. I wonder if anyone else would like to come out here and experience this environment or do these walks or enjoy the bush or the, or the high country. And I kind of logged it away in the back of my mind and never really thought about it again. And then sort of 30 odd years later, we looked at it, we could see it was a large area that wasn't being utilised, but it had all of these um, great attributes and assets. It was a prospect that was incredibly exciting, very challenging. To be honest, it was at that stage, I kind of almost had a fear of if I was gonna commit myself to this, that I had to follow through, even though I knew that people didn't think I'd be able to do it. I was aware that people were like, nah, you're not gonna do it, you're not gonna, and that just drove me even more. You know, and that, that, that passion was just re-energised and refuelled through adversity, through people sort of saying, no, nah, no, nah, you'll never do that, you can't do that. But the vision was to create something that was beautiful, that people would enjoy. Um, it was going back to that whole kind of sanctuary idea. And it was an opportunity that I just couldn't. I, w I wasn't going to sleep unless I could actually give it a crack, you know, give it a whirl, go for it. There's nothing better than, than being on the property and seeing a couple of tiny dots, you know, cruising along on, on mountain bikes or walking or, you know, staying in huts and seeing the grandeur of that landscape and seeing how insignificant we really are in that landscape. Um, and that is, that's kind of the drive behind it. The trail itself is a 27 kilometre loop. It took two and a half years to build by hand, like the pioneers, the gold mining pioneers. They built the water race with picks and shovels. So we decided to do it the same way. We wanted to carry on that mantra, that history, that hard work ethic. Um, we wanted to be sympathetic to the landscape uh, and also make it look as if it had been there for 100 years or more. So we think we've achieved that and people appreciate that when they see it. They go, wow. It took you five and a half thousand hours to build this track just with a pick from E. Hayes and Sons in Invercargill. That's where you know, I've got these five pound picks, you know, smashing picks, smashing rakes, smashing wheelbarrows, smashing ourselves to, to build this, you know, this wonderful um, creation. And um, it'll be there for, for hundreds of years to come.